In this video we build a 3D printed planetary gearbox and we also design one in the Fusion 360 together. Stay tuned! The first step is obviously 3D printing out all the necessary parts. Free STL files you find in the video description below like always in this channel. When you are 3D printing gears I highly recommend to use a raft because this is helping you avoid an elephant foot. And when you are building a planetary gearbox this is really important. But okay let's start putting things together. First thing to do is push M3 nuts inside the sun gear. Make sure that holes are centered. And when this is done you can screw one 3mm set screw through the holes. Probably this is the hardest part because I am using double helical gears. Don't get me wrong, double helical gears are extremely good things. But when you are designing something with those, you really need to think through the assembly. Like you see on the screen, I am messing around with those gears. I try to boost them at a slight angle and use pretty much force when they finally snap in place. And the same thing with this ring gear. This has a gut at one side. It's because otherwise you will never get those planets and sun gear inside this ring gear. This looks right now a bit sloppy, but when this is inside the gearbox body, this will hold this nicely together. Make sure that gears are spinning freely and if so, we can install the motor. This is the motor holder. This one on the screen right now is designed for the 775 motor. But here is the point. You can design this holder for any motor. I have also done one for the NEMA 17 stepper motor. I assembled this before I started recording this video. But I show you how this works a bit later. Let's continue with assembly. To connect the motor to the adapter, in this case we need 4mm bolts. And now finally push motor shaft into the sun gear center hole. And now you actually should install planet carrier and cover, but I leave the cover open because I wanna show you how the gears are spinning. Finally best part of the video, we can start with the first test. Well I have to mention that in this setup I am using one cheap AliExpress ESC for the brushed DC motor. The first test is successful, for the gearbox at least, but when I started the changing the camera angle, the ESC didn't survive, this started burning with open flame. Well this is gone. I cannot recommend this product but if you some reason want this, I leave the link below. So I use one DC motor speed controller. I have pretty positive history with those things. But okay anyway now new setup is up and we finally can start watching how the gears are turning. So I stop speaking and let's just enjoy this together. Ok we have seen those gears enough, uh, just for example I closed this top cover also and by the way over here I am using 3mm bolts. I wanna show you the NEMA 17 stepper motor version also. Actually this is exactly same gearbox what we just built, but only the motor mount is designed for the NEMA 17 stepper motor. 
everything else is exactly the same. And for running this stepper motor I use some Arduino stuff what we don't cover in this video. And like you see this works exactly the same like the last one. This was building and testing, but let's also look how to design one by our own for 3D printing. Before we go into the Fusion 360, I wanna show you one website what I highly recommend you to visit. I leave the link also down below. This gives you a really good visual example uh, about uh, the gearbox with what you will start working on. Here you can change the number of teeth uh, with any gear and make uh, one or another stationary also increase or decrease the number of planet gears and this one what you see on the screen right now this one we tried to sketch well not try we will sketch this in fusion 360 so let's get started uh, but we won't use five planet gears we use three yes good oh and uh, make sure that you have this helical gear generator plugin link is also down below it's really easy to download and install and it's free Okay, so first thing we have to open this plugin and start generating gears. And I start with drink gear. The order what gear you do first is not really important. I just like to start with drink gear. So first decide your module. I am just for example using 1.5. But th there is one really important thing to remember. The module have to be same for all gears. Gears with different module will not go together. So it's really important you keep the module same. And next one, teeth. Well, in our case right now, ring gear have to have 48 teeth. And the first helical gear is generated. But we wanna make this helical gear to the double helical gear. Actually, this is unbelievably simple. You just have to mirror this helical gear and there is your double helical gear. Voila. Okay, we have our perfect double helical gear, but actually we need ring gear. That's why we are using this gear only for cutting tool. Start new sketch on top of this gear and make one cylinder what is bigger than this gear. Now you see this gear is sitting inside this cylinder. To make now this cylinder to the ring gear we need to use combining tool. But we are not joining them together, we use cut and the ring gear is ready. But now when this is ready we can start making sun gear. The process is pretty much the same. You just have to change the number of teeth and uh, I recommend to use just a little bit of backslash. But here is one number what you have to write down. This is pitch diameter. You see this really soon why it's so important. And to make this to the double helical gear you have to mirror this like we did before. And when the sun gear is ready let's also do one planetary gear. And it's really important that you know also the planet gear pitch diameter. But what we do with those two numbers? Let me show you. We have to move planet gear exactly right place between sun gear and ring gear. But believe me, you cannot able this. To get this planet gear into the right place we use calculation. Sun gear pitch diameter divided by 2 plus planet gear pitch diameter divided by 2. This calculation works with all gears, not only with sun and planet gear. This is the beauty of pitch diameter. And like you see, the planet gear is exactly at the right place. And here is one small problem what we should avoid before but we didn't. Those gears are not going together, but this have really simple solution. Just flip this sun gear 180 degree. And the problem is fixed. And just to make this more beautiful, I line up the deeds. But we have only one planet gear. 
to make here three or even more planet gears we have to use circular pattern. Beauty of this tool is that uh, when this one planet gear is at the right place the others will be also. And yeah here you just change the number how much you want those planet gears but like I told before we use three. And here is your planetary gearbox. The model is ready but believe me this is not ready for 3D printing so we have to do a couple of things more. If you 3D print out this straight away then believe me even if you get this somehow together they are unrotable. They are smashed together so hard that you cannot turn any gear. This is because 3D printers are not so accurate and for any 3D prints what you want to put together you have to think about tolerance. So what I am doing now, I am cutting sun gear and ring gear teeth a bit shorter. The tolerance what you need is different with any printer. I am using reality printers and I know that 0.3 works really fine for me. But actually this depends on pretty much things. What nozzle size you use, what slicer you use, what print settings you use, what filament you use and so on. So don't be frustrated when the first try is not perfect. Even this gearbox what we assembled earlier, well uh, this was not first try. I had really much fail prints and especially with ring gear. I don't remember correctly but I think this was fifth time when I finally get the ring gear working. I told this before but really use raft when you are 3D printing gears because you don't want this elephant foot. I know there is some print settings what can what help you avoid this but uh, I, I just say you raft is 100% just use raft and you are happy. Well here you have it I hope this tutorial was helpful. Because the video is pretty long just let's run fast time lapse where I make the planet carrier and case and cover and stuff. And after this time lapse I wanna show you the project of the gearbox uh, what we assembled before uh, with motion links. I hope you liked this video and if you really did then maybe you wanna hit the subscribe and like button this will be big support for me so thank you a lot. And I hope you watch my videos in future also. But right now again thank you for watching and bye.